to this for just a minute before going to the main content as this is important. Today we are diving into a topic that has been buzzing in my YouTube comments using an AI plugin in a proctored exam or how to cheat in a proctored exam. Before we get into it, let me be crystal clear. This video is not an endorsement of cheating. I do not encourage cheating at all. Cheating shortcuts might seem tempting, but remember, real learning is where the true value lies. Now, why am I making this video then? Well, a short video of mine, which I did on a similar topic, gained a lot of traction, but it also brought in a wave of confusion. Many of you had questions and I hear you. Today, we will break it down and I will share what's worked for me in the past. Now, let's talk about cheating. Only consider this method if your exam doesn't contribute to your learning journey and if you're willing to take risk. But here's the caveat, yeah? Don't even think about it if there's a serious chance of facing severe consequences. Like, do not do this into certifications at all, okay? I have tried this method a couple of times, I'll be very honest with you guys, and but only in situations where the quiz wasn't a big deal, like internal uh, company quizzes for fun or an online assessment to be on top of leaderboard. So it's a personal choice and I'm sharing my experience, but please do it at your own risk. Before we dive into the main content, a quick heads up. Stick around till the end to know in and out about this method. We'll be exploring various AI extensions for different exams covering each step thoroughly. So stick around as we navigate through the ins and outs of using an AI plugin in a proctored exam. So let's get started now. Step, we will be creating a proctored exam Google form. So for that, we need to first create Google form. Google, if you just type in forms, you will get uh, the dashboard wherein you can create a form. Basically, in case you have not created before, so you have to just click on that uh, plus button and give any name, testing one, two, three, or whatever name you want to give. Uh, so I have already created one form, which is over here, the online proctored quiz. So, and these are the questions which I filled in along with the uh, options, as you can see. And you can basically create any image type of questions, also video. Okay, so I'm not going uh, much detail into this. Uh, we'll look into responses. So responses is like whatever people have answered. And this is not going to create a proctored one, but this is just a normal quiz. And if you go to settings, uh, so again, it depends whether you want to collect email ID, collect email ID verified, or you choose, you can just input if you want. So these are the settings which you can do. So I'm again, not going into much detail. Once you have created all the questions, uh, then you have to go to this website called as proctor.co. And over here, you have to create your account. So I've already signed in uh, with my account. So it's a pretty straightforward sign in. You have to, you can use Google uh, account or you can use your own um, like new email ID and password. Okay, and I've already created few um, proctored exams over here. So what you'll do is you have to create a test. And then uh, if you want to create it as a Google form one, then you can create over here or there are other platforms as well. So for this demo purpose, we will be using Google form and over here we have to input the same one in same uh, URL of the Google form, uh, which we have created. So for that, you need to go over here, send here. Yeah, that is the sharing option and this link you have to copy. Okay. And come over here, paste it. Okay. And then you can give a uh, YouTube demo quiz. And then we can continue. Yeah, has been created either by you. Test okay. Uh, this particular uh, form has been already used uh, multiple times. So because of that, okay, I can do one thing. I can just create this for this one maybe. Uh, again, this is quite straightforward. But I just want to give a quick glimpse of it. So I've created a new one. Yeah, that's it. So over here, you'll get a success message, test created successfully, and then that's it, done. Over here, there are a few settings which you have to go through. Okay, so over here, you can enable timer if you want. Uh, if it is proctored, then obviously you have to click this one. Uh, enable auto resume, maximum attempt. So mostly it is one, as we can see over here, Recommend we recommend one. But this is just for the demo purpose, so I am giving three in case if first time it fails or something happens. The name we have already given. Coming to timer settings, again, we can give some time over here and just give 10 minutes. 
and then again we can do all this uh, customizations if we want uh, what is more important over here is this so proctored setting so what we want is step switching for sure so we want to test our AI extension which we will be using in a while camera yeah we want uh, photo to be taken uh, microphone yeah photos at random uh, maybe I will just untick it for now because I don't want uh, my photos to be taken up but again this one will be either it can be on or off depending on the examiner what he wants and enforce full screen photos I'm just keeping it untick for now uh, yeah to whom it is communicated me after the test okay so I want to know the results so I will keep this thing user during the test mostly this won't be there user won't uh, know whether what will be the result whether he will be shown that he has copied or not so mostly this won't happen so I'm just taking it off these are there are some advanced settings over here not recommended for new users so I'm just keeping it collapsed view okay so that's it I think a few settings we have done over here yep that's it i'm clicking on save and save successfully so this will be our link now so whenever we want to take up the test this will be the link which we will be using or your teachers or your lecturers will be sending it across via mail so let's move on to the next step in this step what we will do is we have to take up the exam right so for that first we need to install the chat gpt extension which will actually help us to take the exam so for that i will search chat gpt Chrome extension so I've already searched it and I've already installed it but make sure you install this one so there are many available uh, in the Chrome store so you have to specifically use this one so link I will put in the description area uh, so I've already installed as I've said and you can see it over here so if I click on the extension a pop-up window will be uh, coming over here and obviously I have logged in into my OpenAI account so which you have to do it once and after that every time you click on this uh, icon over here you will be able to see this um, dialog or prompt box so now next step we will be taking up the exam and we'll see what happens here okay yeah this is the link and i have to open incognito mode so again i have to sign in into my account so i've already done it so i'll skip that step but uh, whenever you're taking up the test you have to sign in uh, with the help of a google account after that you should be able to see this screen if you want you can go through this tutorial or you can just uh, skip it multiple cameras detected yes next uh, multiple monitors are connected currently so i will be selecting the main one uh, continue with multiple monitors for now and then there will be series of checks which will be done and after that once it is successful you should be able to see this uh, google form which we have created and over here you should be able to see the timer and we have already installed and enabled this uh, uh, chat GPT extension for incognito window so now let's take up the um, exam on first is uh, what is the purpose of SDS software okay so I do not have any idea what is this so I will just come to chat GPT paste it over here and again if you want you can paste uh, these options as well uh, one problem with this window is like every time you click on this icon or whenever you open this extension every time a new window will be opened up so make sure that you do not open it again and again for the same question so i will say use from below options this is software is super error so it says that large amounts of storage yeah which is this one cool which company coined the term podcast um, i will do over here again copy paste use from below sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't work so we will We'll just copy this let's see what is the answer again i know the answers because i've said this question so <coughs> sorry yeah apple it is okay what is the largest bone in the human body mm -hmm. interesting okay i think i skipped the first one i okay what type of website is designed for creating discussion threads is my firm because I, I mean i know this so i'm not going to actually go and again um, search for the answer okay what is the largest bone in the human body okay this might be the difficult one uh because i'm getting many answers so <laughs> I don't want to reveal what answers are coming to my mind. Anyway, I will put over here. I think this is pretty straightforward. Uh, yeah, famer it is, not the famer it is. Oh, okay. Interesting. Now, one more thing, right? Um, so what happens that sometimes you won't be able to copy uh, this text over here, right? So it might be disabled, I mean, right? So that time what you will do? Are you going to just open the chat GPT window and then are you going to type like you know which company coined the term blah 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 
no right that's not feasible i mean you can type for one or two but consider uh, there are like like you know 50 questions so that's not possible right that you keep on typing all these questions because time uh, is also constrained over there so in that case i am having this extension called as copy fish so basically if you just uh, google it copy fish uh, chrome extension you should be able to see copy this uh, link over here and basically this is the extension which you have to install copy fish what happens is if i click on this one you can see it is saying that please select a text to grab so now i can just come over here and grab this text or the image over here and what it will do once i leave the mouse it will copy this uh, entire uh, text whatever is there so now now this works like google lens but this is much faster version of that and one best thing about this extension is that it is having unlimited usage there are a few extensions which are quite famous but it is having like 15 limits so per day you can uh, you know screen grab like 15 uh, images but this one is having uh, unlimited so once you do this copy to uh, clipboard and then you can come over here and basically you can just paste it and then you should get your answer oh sorry state uh, it's vatican city come over here copy I think I'm done. I'm done with all the answers. It looks good and I'm pretty confident because this, these answers are not given by me but by chat GPT so it should be right. Okay, alright, submitting it. Uh, view score, okay. Hmm, there you go. I have scored 5 out of 5. Yo ho. Easy, right? Oh, let's do one thing. Let's go and check in the results whether whenever we have opened this extension whether it has been captured by the tool or not so i will be going to the dashboard uh, results so yeah and there are some several uh, times i have taken it i will be take, uh, i will be opening the latest one uh, over here as you can see right it is saying that tab has been switched twice interesting that means it has recorded something which we will see in a while and evidence types is to a different application for two seconds it's still okay not a problem then there is some noise detected i think this is the one which i where i was talking something yeah i think this is the one which i was talking and then i switch to a different applications for five seconds which is this one for this one so it has recorded this multiple monitors were connected true uh, coming to the more customized view you can see if there's anything okay no i think in terms of tab switching it has not actually captured this extension which is a good news uh, but uh, just one word of caution guys that uh, these updates keep coming because last time when i visited this tool many things were not there so this was kind of basic tool but now when i see there are many things being introduced like noise detected which was not there uh, three four weeks back when i had checked for this tool if you examine is using some basic version so in that uh, things like tab switching is uh, basic uh, tab switching camera and all other things like noise and all won't be there but if they're using advanced version like say for example this tool i see is kind of advanced version so if they're using this then that might be a problem for you uh, this extension uh, will be used by you only for uh, non-critical exams like some fun quizzes and quizzes which is not serious or there won't be any escalations as such okay because you never know what uh, options have been selected by your examiner and i don't want you to get caught so that was for this video guys uh, we have seen this tool and we have also seen this copy fish one so using both this tool we were able to uh, you know pass the exam 100 percent uh, get the marks uh, so give it a try and let me know as i've said keep checking out for the uh, updates because uh, this tool has been updated several times so whenever you might be trying them it might be some other options also i won't be uh, doing such videos again so if you are planning to subscribe for expecting like i will be putting up more videos wherein i will be showing different ways of cheating and all you no know, then that won't be the case because this channel is uh, mostly for learning purpose you know javascript python ai many good stuff so this will be the only video henceforth i won't be uploading such videos so if you're subscribing please don't subscribe if your expectation is that i will i will be uploading more videos of this type 
but yeah if you want to learn uh, things like javascript programming coding ai and all then please do subscribe and like this video if you think that uh, you can use this method for some non-critical exams yeah take care bye